Hi everyone, welcome to NG Nerd Math. In this video, I will teach you about prime factorization. So before we proceed to the actual topic of this video, which is prime factorization, I will introduce to you first the two type of numbers that we will need for this topic, which are the prime numbers and the composite numbers. So let's define the prime numbers first. So prime numbers are numbers whose factors are only one in itself. So actually, they are natural numbers greater than 1 whose factors are only 1 in itself. So therefore, 1 is not considered as a prime number. Okay? So what are the examples of prime numbers? So from its definition, we will think of numbers whose factors are only 1 in itself. For example, 2, right? Because the only factors of 2 are 1 in itself. Because 1 times 2 is 2. So, the only factors of 2 are 1 and 2. Likewise, 3 is also a prime number. Why? Because the factors of 3 are only 1 and itself. Right? What else? We can also have 5 whose factors are 1 and 5 only. 7 whose factors are 1 and 5 only. Etc. and so on. So, that's the definition of prime numbers. Numbers whose factors are only one in itself. So how about composite numbers? So composite numbers are opposite of prime numbers. So meaning they are numbers that are not prime and they have other factors than one in itself. So other than the factors of one in itself, they have other factors. For example, six. So one pair of factors of six is one in itself, right? So one times six. But aside from this, we can also have factors such as 2 and 3 because 2 times 3 is 6. Okay? What else? 8. So aside from the factors of 1 in itself, so 1 times 8, it can also have factors of 2 and 4 because 2 times 4 is 8. So composite numbers are any number that you can think of whose factors are more than 2. So other than 1 in itself, they have other factors. Okay, so for your quick reference, I listed down here numbers from 1 to 100. So all the numbers shaded in yellow are all prime numbers, while all the numbers shaded in white are composite numbers, except 1. Okay? So now that we know the concept of prime and composite numbers, let's proceed to the topic which is finding the prime factorization of a number. So what is prime factorization? So prime factorization is finding which prime numbers multiply together to make the original number. So prime factorization, by the way, is useful when we are finding the greatest common factor or GCF and least common multiple or LCM of different numbers. So from the definition of prime factorization, meaning given a particular number, so let's say we have 24, we will need to find the factors of 24 that when we multiply together will be equal to the number itself. But take note, all of these factors must be only prime numbers. So as what we discussed earlier, numbers whose factors are just one in itself. So how can we do that? So the first step to find the prime factorization of a number, in this case 24, is to think of any two factors of 24. So it doesn't matter if the factors that you choose are composite or prime. So let's say I choose the pair of factors of 24 such as 3 and 8, right? So 3 and 8 are factors of 24 because 3 times 8 is 24. And then try to ask yourself if the chosen factors that you have are already prime or still composite. So 3, as we notice, it's already a prime number, right? So we must not take care of it anymore. But for the 8, we notice that it's still not a prime number because it can still be factored as 1. So any pair of factors again of 8 that you can think of, and it doesn't matter if the numbers are composite or prime. So let's say I choose the factors of 8 as 4 and 2, right? So as we can see, 2 is already a prime number, so we can leave it as that. But for the other factor, which is 4, it's not yet a prime number, but still a composite number. So we can think again of pair of factors of 4, let's say 2 and 2, right? 
So as we can see now, both of these factors of 4, which is 2, are already prime. And we cannot factor them any further. So we'll end the prime factorization here. So we can now write the prime factorization of 24 as equal to, so the first prime number that we have is 3, right? So we write 3 times the next prime factor that we get is 2, right? Times, then the last two prime factors that we get are both 2. So 2 times 2. So therefore, this is the prime factorization of 24. 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. Or if there's a case that you notice that a particular prime factor of the number appears more than once, you can represent them in exponential form. So since 3 appears only once, you can write that as 3 only. Then times, so obviously 2 appears thrice as a factor, right? So you write 2 as the base, and then make the exponent the number of times 2 appears as the factor, which is 3, right? So we have 2 to the third. So therefore, this is also the prime factorization of 24. 3 times 2 to the third. Okay? Next, let's say we want to find the prime factorization of 1260. So let's try to think first a pair of factors of 1260. So the first two factors that come to my mind right away are 10 and 126. Okay? Now for the factor 10, it's not yet a prime number, so we can still factor it as, let's say, 2 and 5. Right? So since 2 and 5 are both prime numbers already, we can leave them as that. Next, let's have the other factor, which is 126. So obviously, 126 is not yet a prime number. So we can think again of a pair of factors of 126, let's say 2 times 63, right? So 2 is already a prime number, so we can leave it as that. But 63 is not yet a prime number, so we can think of another pair of factors of 63, let's say... 7 times 9, right? So 7 is already a prime number, but 9 is not yet a prime number, so we can still factor it as 3 times 3. So since the last two factors that we get are already prime numbers, which are both 3, then we'll end the prime factorization step here. So we can write the prime factorization of 1260 as, so let's start with the smallest prime factor that we have, which is 2. So 2 appears twice as a factor. So we have 2 times 2. Then the next larger prime factor is 3, right? Which appears twice. So we have 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And then the next one is the prime factor 5. So we have times 5. Lastly, the prime factor 7. So therefore, the prime factorization of 1 to 60 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 7. Or in exponential expression, we can write it as, so since 2 appears twice as a factor, we can have 2 squared times 3 also appears twice as a factor, we can have 3 squared. And then just copy 5 and 7 because they only appear once. So times 5 times 7. So take note that if in the prime factorization of a particular number, a prime number only appears once as a factor, it means that it has an exponent of 1. So therefore, 5 here has an exponent of 1 since it only appears once as a factor. Likewise, 7 has an exponent of 1 because it only appears once as a factor. Nevertheless, when we have exponent of 1, we can omit writing them. Okay? So therefore, the other form of the prime factorization of 1260 is 2 squared times 3 squared times 5 times 7. Okay. okay, so I think that's it for this video, prime factorization. So I hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching.